Fascinating story tonight as we have learned some surprising new information about a quadruple murder suspect arrested in Buffalo just yesterday. 48 year old Alexander Hill now charged with four counts of first degree murder for the deaths of three women and a toddler. Their bodies were found inside their burned home near Richmond, Virginia on Easter Sunday in 2014. An anonymous tip led U.S. Marshals to St. Luke's Mission of Mercy and Hill yesterday morning. But this wasn't the first time that Hill was featured in a news story on our station. Join your sides, Kelly Dudzik brings us new information about how Hill was hiding before U.S. Marshals found him. Alexander Hill Jr. was the subject of a nationwide manhunt by U.S. Marshals, who on the one-year anniversary of the murders sent out his mugshot hoping for leads. One of those leads came from Buffalo. Hill had been staying at St. Luke's Mission of Mercy. I didn't know anything about him. I'd see him, he'd say hello, you know, he, you know, kind of lay low. But he wasn't going by Alexander Hill. He was using a fake name. When arrested Thursday, Hill told U.S. Marshals he was Trent Dales, which brings us back to March 25th. Two on your side's Erica Brecker did a story about a Buffalo pastor offering homeless men and women a warm place to stay if they helped renovate the building in return. One of the men the pastor was helping identified himself as Trent Dales. Trent Dales, a carpenter by trade, was laid off from his job and lost his home. The minister has uh, given me an opportunity to do some work, um, you know, kept me out of the elements and so far it looks like it's going up. At the pastor's suggestion, Dales willingly appeared in our story. Trent told me that he had been a contractor in East Aurora, recently lost his job and lost his apartment. Didn't give me the in-between side, but that's how he ended up at St. Luke's. And in turn, Dales ended up at Temple of Christ Church helping Reverend Reginald Kerr. Erica says it took about 24 hours to make the connection. It wasn't just me. Several of us in the newsroom had a realization that this name was familiar. Kevin Connolly with U.S. Marshals in Richmond tells us Dales is Alexander Hill. I think one of the more shocking details is when you look at my photo of him side by side with the U.S. Marshals photo, there is a scar in the center of his forehead, and it's identical in both pictures. Connolly also told us that if we were to have sent him that still shot of Trent Dales from Erica's story as a tip, he'd be on the phone with U.S. Marshals in Buffalo immediately. One thing that's interesting, during the interview, while I was doing that story, this man did not take off his hat or glasses. He was very quiet. The reason I didn't think twice about that is because he was a homeless man who I thought might not be comfortable going on air. So I didn't think twice about it. The U.S. Marshals Service said yesterday that Hill's fingerprints returned as a match, but they have to officially present that evidence in court before he can go back to Virginia. But you have to wonder, where else was this guy hiding? Right. He was on the run for a year. They just happened to find him in Buffalo. Yeah. And the people from St. Luke's, I mean, they take in folks all the time, no right. questions asked, right. out of the goodness of their heart, and never knew that among them was a suspected murderer. Exactly. They had That's no idea. Yeah. Kelly, thank you.